Good evening, my friends, and happy Monday. Happy Monday. And Merry Christmas as well, because this is going to be the last stream that we're going to be doing before the Christmas break. Uh, we're not going to be streaming next Sunday. We're not going to be streaming next Monday. In the chat, we have Nimaway, Tentacle Hype, and we have Souffle. Good evening to both of you. I hope you are hype for some Day of the Tentacle. This was the Discord's choice as to which game we're going to play next. And we are all about the retro adventure vibes here. I've got us on uh, classic art, classic music, classic SFX. If it's a bit much, we might modernize it. But um, for now, we're going 90s vibes. Let's check it out. I've never played this game before. This is a blind playthrough. Would I like to enable the developer's commentary? No. Oh, it is LucasArts. Okay. I thought it was a different company. I don't know where this... I know it's a similar... It's a comedy game. Similar to Monkey Island. I don't know where this uh, falls in terms of other games that LucasArts did. Keep out area contaminated with industrial waste. Mm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. <laughs> Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Oh, he's got arms now! So hang on, was there voice acting in the original, or was it just Look, Hoagie, the it's a text? Hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could mine its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. Okay, already confused. Wait, that letter's from Green I Tentacle? I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. Okay, here we go. Credits rolling. So, the note came from Green Tentacle, but the... Not the mansion. Um, I thought he said the note, the hamster came from Ed Edison. And then you've got Fred Edison, who's presumably a different mad scientist. We're gonna have to clearly, like, really pay attention to the dialogue here, because, um, unlike many games, it's not a click to confirm next line. It's a, it'll, it'll just keep running. It'll just keep running. This mansion's far away. That reminds me of driving through the Spanish mountains very much. Yeah, 
this was this was many many years ago. I was a child on holiday going from Madrid to Pavia on the coast. And uh, oh man, I think we took a shortcut through some mountains. And it did not end well. So green tentacle and purple tentacle, they already existed. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. Okay. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Mm-hmm. Question is... How'd you get in there? Where's his secret lab? Okay. So, uh, walk to confirm open inventory. Okay, okay, okay. Navigate menu, skip cut scene. Oh, you can select the different characters. No, you can't change the different characters now. Okay, and as we go around the environment, uh, the verbs are changing for us. So what do we have? No, I'd don't rather use not. With... Can I not use textbook with himself? That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Uh, let's take the flyer. I'd rather not. Can I use the flyer? No, okay. So it's a flyer from a local hardware store. Okay, we've got a service bell. Gum with a dime stuck in it. It's stuck to the floor. Okay. I'd rather not. Fine. Let's try and use the bell. Seems like an obvious thing to do. Uh, open? Open door? got a book on the desk, got a phone on the desk. If you look at something, he doesn't really comment on it, he just walks to it. Can I, uh... I'd rather not. So we've got a Swiss bank book. I don't really want it. Pull the painting. Yeah, nice. I'd rather not. Okay, so we can't use the safe. Can we open the safe? I don't know the combination. Fine. Can we open the desk drawer? It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Correction fluid? Oh, uh, like Tipex. Yeah, sure. We'll take the uh, we'll take the Tipex. Right. I don't have anyone to call. Hmm. Oh, for a typewriter. I see. I see. So we've got a camera up here. I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. Why should I do that? 
Sad times? Why is it sad times? So I reckon... Oh, can we can we look at the family photos? Oh, he's got no one to call. Yeah, that's a really good point. I was Fred has them neatly arranged on the desk. Can I steal one? I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Fine. So we've picked up some things. We've found a safe. The phone, out of order. Open the, uh... Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Oh. Okay. I was slightly not expecting that to happen, but okay. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. <laughs> good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? I tell you what, that sound okay, effect sounded a lot know. like an old Sega Mega Drive. Effect yes, method. thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Barely any. Barely any. Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Awkward. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday, through the time machine. <laughs> nice. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogen. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? Yeah, no, why do all three you of you need to go? go? To increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. So I presume that, uh, what that it all the book and the I correction food and so I on don't, wanna know. don't matter. Because <laughs> we wouldn't necessarily have picked those up by this point. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's awkward. Oh, and Bernard's ended up back there.
Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, mm. and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry it's a time me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Well, if you... Now what am I going to do? Well, if you find the diamond, I think I the placement of diamond, then you can just send clear. it... Step one, Back. find oh, plans. Okay. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Classic. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Straightforward. Especially uh, step two. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! Okay, so what have we got here? We've got lever, push lever. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Hmm. Oh, here's some paper. That says to-do list. I've got the plans. Oh, okay. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yes. Down the toilet. <laughs> no, through time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Mm. Flush small inanimate objects to each other right, through so time. Right, so that's going to be a, an important puzzle mechanic. Then. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Ogie, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? <laughs> I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogon, Grim. Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's Red my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. It's only 200 years. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogon. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Okay, so what have we got? Oh, interesting. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. Oh, I'm afraid not. We, can we swap still character. need a diamond for the main unit. Right. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here. I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. I like trees, but this one has got to go. Do we reckon we cut the tree down in the past? Um, 
Okay, so what have I got? I've got a patent application. I have a can opener. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Well, that's weird for an outhouse. Huh, this door appears... Okay, we're switching. Those founding yeah. fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Okay. Oh, hey, that's... Who is that? Oh, it's Benjamin Hi Franklin. There, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. How would you know that? Uh, oh, I suppose you, you have know an Red idea. Edison. He's a scientist guy too. Red Edison, a scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends <laughs> to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn of all places to write our Constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, am going to summon power from the sky <laughs> by sheer force of genius! I mean, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Um, yeah, we could use a little power. I could power. use a little power myself for my time machine. There will be power enough for all in time. There aren't any time machines yet anyway. Well, not yet. That's, That's kind of next point. summer's project. Okay. Well, well I'll let you get back we'll, to your time. We'll leave Ben Franklin to it yes, for now. Yes, back to science. Anything over this direction? No. So what have we got here? Yeah, so Ben Franklin is just one interactable object, effectively. So let's go to the inn. Okay, there's a carriage, which is on blocks. sure what to make of that. Let's go into the inn. Oh, there's a mailbox. I can't open it. Why not? Can we push the flag? Oh! Woohoo, the Pony Express. Okay. Ah, so now we can open it. So what is this? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Right, you can right click to read it. Ah, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Gold, croutons, oil, vinegar, lettuce. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. Anything on the other side? It's the battery uh, plants I'm supposed to... Bitcha. Bitcha. Okay. Uh, open door? Okay, there we go. I didn't realize the door was closed. Hmm. Hello. Okay, not a talkative kind of guy then. This is the same building. This is the same building. Okay. Okay, we've got a suggestion box. We've got a swinging door. 
smoke detector. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Okay. Well, why don't you put a coat on? I'm wearing a coat, you nitwit. I've even got this blanket which makes me itch and I'm still freezing. Okay. Well, I gotta go, dude. Now, what have we got here? Oh, a time capsule. Okay, then we have George Washington here. That's the Constitution in progress. Can I take that? You can look, but don't touch. Fine. I can't open it. Hmm. Okay, so they're busy building a time capsule or something. Let's have a look at this door over here. What do we got? We've got a water pump. Oh, we've got oil. Totally take the oil. Because that's one of our critical ingredients. Pantry. Can we open the pantry? I can't open it. No. What's in here then? A brush. I hope this wasn't used in the outhouses. Okay. And we've got a bucket over here. Never it's go empty. wrong. Never go wrong with a bucket. So the spaghetti. Let's take that. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Because realistically, what's the downside? Uh, push the pump. I don't wanna. Okay, fine. Pull the pump. I don't wanna. Okay, fine. So we'll just leave this room. We'll go back to the clock then. It's closed. Hmm. I'm guessing it conceals the entrance to a secret. Hey, there we go. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. <laughs> yeah. He does then seem again, equally grumpy. He not. does seem very similar to the guy we've already met. Um, do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the <coughs> stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Oh, okay. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I wanted to be an inventor when I was young. What are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather ingenious, if I must say so myself. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's 
it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. No. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. Oh. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. It must be some sort of okay. bad blood on their mother's so side. One of them's left-handed. Important to, important to well, remember. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. So let's go and give him... Give to you. Mm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I have made myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Easy enough. I can give you oil right now. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. This is great. Okay. Can I pick up the coat? Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Can I be an employee? Oh, no. No way could I pick that up. Uh... It's covered with plans and junk. Right. Right clicking will get It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Oh, hang on. Oh, have I been doing it wrong? So left click will walk to an object, but... It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. You either have to click the verb and then click on it, or right click will automatically do the verb that's highlighted. Okay, that's been confusing me, because I've been like, oh, well, I'm going to look at, look at that. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Okay. Bitchin'. So we can get ourselves out of there. George sleeps here. I bet it calls the butler just like on TV. I guess this is George Washington's bed. Well, let's try pulling that. Here I am, oh, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington. Uh, oh, cleaning supplies. Don't you That'd have be any good. cleaning supplies? Vinegar. Like most maids, I keep them on my cart in the hall. Well, I'll let you get back I will work. let you get back to it. Yes, then. there's lots to be done. Okay. Where's the cart? Oh, there's the cart. Take the soap. Oh, ha! Oh, no! Get away from that! It's a good thing I finish in there quickly. Now, scram! Mm. They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. Okay. Bitch. So we can close the door behind us, maybe. Yeah, let's pull this again. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Okay, we're gonna walk out here. We're gonna close the door behind us this time. Uh, not raised in a barn. Oh, close the door, lovely. Uh, let's now grab that. Oh, ha! Ah, oh, no, get really? Get away from that. It's a good thing I finish in there quickly. Okay. Now scram. 
just don't make founding fathers like Maybe we're gonna pull to. the whole card. Just steal the whole card. Okay, let's try one more idea. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Okay, pull the maid's car. No way, I'd be busted for sure. Okay, close the door. Now take the maid's car. No way, I'd be busted for sure. Okay, push the maid's no car. No way, I'd be busted okay, for sure. Fine. Boo. Let's try uh, the next door along. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. Mm. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Chrome plated board eagle robots, skull scorpions, a hologram. It should have a hologram on it somewhere. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Okay. Stars and stripes, dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. That'd make a killer t-shirt. I like these. Too late, you've already rejected those. Okay. Looks comfortable. Probably can't I couldn't it, sleep in here with all the racket. Who asked you to? Do we need thread for the sewing machine? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore mm. at once. Oh, I didn't ship that. Should I give that letter to Red as well, do you think? What have we got here? Wine bottle. We could send the wine. Send the wine into the future to turn it into vinegar? Maybe. I don't quite see how it can fly. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards <laughs> message. Oh, it's just a coffee stand. Ah, no. I don't understand that technical stuff. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Grody? Never heard that before. Okay, let's pick up. Pick up Chateau the de Chipo, 1775. Yeah, so I think I need to. Somehow, I probably need to put this somewhere so that in the future it becomes vinegar, right? Uh, hi, horsey. Hi, yourself. Hmm. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Never think of that. You mean horses have been snubbing <laughs> me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Alfie, 12E in the chat. Hi, how are you doing? I, I don't understand nice why it's a horse, horse like that can talk in, in this corridor like this. just randomly. Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? 
I am doing all right, thanks. I'm doing all right. Getting ready for Christmas, winding down till Christmas. Should be pretty great. How are you getting on? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was always nut. Okay. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Let's try one more again. item on the teeth. I gotta go. Yeah. See so you later. There must be something to do with getting those teeth. Let's uh, let's take the glass. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Ah, okay. Right, we're probably going to have to steal those dentures later then. What do we have here? Oh, these are the artists. The is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edison's, Ned and Jed. Ned and Who's Jed who? Edison. Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He hmm. only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. Okay, so, so Jed is the left hand. Too frightened one. to ask. Are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? <laughs> rock is my life. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing. Where you're from. Oof. Where Cold. exactly did you come from? I live off campus with Bernard and Laverne. How nice for you. How nice for Bernard. How nice for Laverne. <laughs> How nice for everybody. Well, actually, they never let me play my music very loud. Yes, of course. Well, goodbye. Okay, so we've got the left-handed hammer. Yet. Too late. So let's go and give the left-handed hammer to Jed. I don't want to. Oh, really? Or maybe the left-handed one is Ned. Hmm. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Oh, I see. Is that to prevent the tentacles taking over the world later? <laughs> okay, so that's Ned's bed, Jed's bed. What a pretty pussycat. Uh, we've got red paint. Can I just take that? Fine. All right, paint. Hmm. Oh, we can use the brush on the horse, yeah? I don't wanna. No? Hmm, we could give the brush to the I horse. I don't wanna. No, fine. When he opens his mouth, are his teeth selectable? No, they're not. Okay. So that might be most of the inn. 
That might be most of the inn explored there. Let's see about going down to the basement again. Because I have a feeling that we want to give this letter to uh, Red. What am I supposed to do with that? No. Huh, okay, so the letter wasn't for him. Hmm. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. Know where I can get some vinegar? Doesn't have anything to say. Okay. Later, dude. Well, in the meantime, let's go here. So we're in the present day again. Get away from that! No, fine. Um, let's have a look around the place in the modern day. So the phone not working. That bell, yes. We can try and open this door here. Okay, different mummy, dead cousin Ted, bird bath. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Hmm. Well, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. I guess I'd best be on about saving the world. Okay, so we've got a help wanted sign. Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working drone needed to assist genius with experiments. The lab coat... High school diploma not required. ...is only for employees. It's closed. Well, let's open it then. I don't think I can pick that up. It's empty. Okay. Flyer, Swiss handbook, textbook. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. So there's a vacuum cleaner in the Gee, basement? Dr. Fred actually? doesn't have a penny. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we can go out to this guy. There's a car which has broken down. It says Zack. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. What are you up to? Uh, Fixing the I, car. Uh, locked my keys in the car. Mm. <laughs> if you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. Mm. See you later. Yeah. So we've got a filthy old car. A windshield. Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh. Uh-huh. How about that? Is that a clue? Some people think washing a vehicle will make it rain. Okay. What, what beautiful, clear water. Right. So we could send the 
bucket this way. Yeah, we could send the bucket this way. That would make it rain. That would put water in the bird bath. Like, I don't know what that particularly does for us, but... Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. Oh, there's chapter of teeth. We novelty good salesmen know how to have a good time. Nice cigars. I import them from the finest Cuban munitions factories. So, <laughs> want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, Oof. you were right! Oh, wow, what? Oh, okay. Weird. You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. Cracks me up every time. Okay, so we've got chattery teeth. That oh no, they wander it off. Jump you little sucker. Can I uh pick him up? Slippery little devil. Come on, I won't hurt you. Hmm. But you're going to eventually end out of, and <laughs> run out of room to go to. We're going to corner you eventually. Oh no. Hold still, will you? Slippery little devil. Okay, they're not. They're not moving anymore, but we still can't grab them. Okay, so we've got a cigar lighter, punch bowl. Party garbage. That of tea. Looks like they all escaped. Grim. Okay, then we've got a fireplace here. Neat. Right, let's go back to my previous idea because I want to see what happens when. Uh, now wait, what am I going to need to do? I'm going to need to come here. And I'm going to need to put the bucket into the past, aren't I? Some items can go through, other items can't go through. And the bucket, nah, we were wrong on that item, but we can bring the brush out here, that's fine. Okay. So, we've got more rooms out the back of here, which we'll have a quick look at. So let's open up this door here. A 
Okay, got a fork, which we can just pick up. Almost certainly. Actually, I'd call this more of a threek. A threek. Okay, fair enough. Let's have an open I'm on the microwave. These models have a history of leakage. Uh huh. The Duke Memorial brand microwave. So we've got coffee and we've got decaf coffee. That's going to be an important point later, clearly. Mm, do not sit on machines. We've got a coin slot. It's a coin operated clothes dryer. Open the cabinet. A funnel? Fine, I'll take the funnel. It's a fine funnel. Hey, Dark Flow in the chat. How are you? It looks pretty broken. Having a good week? It's a fine funnel. It's a fine funnel. Right. Hmm. Okay, can we take the cigar lighter? Hands off, boy! Nah. That's a precision made novelty device! Oh, Dark Flow resubscribe for another month! Great to have you on board! Six as well! Six months! Enjoy the new badge! Um, good week, alright! Excellent! Uh, glad you're having a good week! Uh, all set for Christmas as well! Incidentally, this will be the last stream before I've Christmas. I've never gotten over my we childhood got... fear of Uzo. Oh, did I accidentally close it? Uh, open it. Um, oh, what's going on now? Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. Um, yes, next weekend... Do you know what? Hang on, yeah. Next Monday is Christmas Day, in fact. Oh, bless us, it's Christmas! <laughs> God bless us, everyone! <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what is it? Yeah, so next Sunday will obviously be Christmas Eve. Next Monday, Christmas Day. So we're not, we're not going to be streaming those two days. So take a week off. We'll be back uh, a, a week after that. Already half a year, yeah! And more, because I couldn't have subs until I hit 50 and then a little bit more. But yeah, I was, I was adding this up recently, so I've, I've added a, a video to the YouTube every day for just over six months now. And yeah, pretty consistently, almost since February. Something like that. Yeah, it was after my daughter's last sleep regression. It's pretty darn cold. W and R and a candy machine. Well, let's uh, let's open up the doors and have a look inside the rooms. Uh, a sleeping convention here. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today. Handy. With a special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. So we just got to find the $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing, all in all a fine phone. Well, can we use the phone? Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda nice. speaking. Nice. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Send me card? the bill. Send me the bill. Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. Oh, hi and handy. What's the number, sir? Um... It's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Uh, 
What I need to do is pass those account details to the guy in the past so that he can put a tiny amount of gold in the account and then I'll have two million dollars. Uh, let's not disturb the sleeping guy. There's a jumper that he's sleeping on which I'll probably need later. But I don't know what I would need that jumper for right now. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Mmm. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. Oh, oh, we can give him the letter. How appropriate. Well, that would definitely I still kill him. Do this right. Okay, can we... Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Can we just give him the... Okay, maybe I can't cheer you up. Let's just give him the letter. Don't worry about it. I'd only get depressed again. Never mind. Wait, no, the letter is in the past right now. Hang on. Sorry, this is the letter I'm thinking about. So can I use this letter with the toilet? I can. Uh, the wine bottle. Do you know what? I reckon the wine bottle goes in the time capsule, actually. Uh, red paint, don't know what that's going to be for. Left-handed hammer, pretty sure I need that. Can I don't I understand not sure. what was wrong with exploding catnip. So, I think I'm going to need to go and uh, grab a thing from here. In the meantime, let's go for this door. Green! Hey! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, hey, there's a little stormtrooper helmet. He's going to go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me. If Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Mm-hmm. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? Uh, Wanna help yeah. Me save Come and help me. I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. <laughs> Purple scares the daylights out of me. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. See you later. Just kind of thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck What's... in saving the world, B man. What's a daylight anyway? Okay, so we've got speakers here, speakers here. Uh. It's sticking out. Can we push it? Wow. This is loud. Oh, what happened there? So hang on, wait. Whew. Oof. Probably a bit much, really. So something happened. Something changed in the lobby. Did something fall off the uh, ceiling, maybe? We've got a door here and a door here. I tell you what, this game is pretty wide in terms of its exploration path. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it does not give you a series of things to solve. There is like a very, very wide exploration space. We've been at this now for uh, just over an hour and we've not been in every room yet. And we've not really been like talking to everyone either. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the fever. Okay. It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Ooh, baby, what a man. You ain't kidding, precious. Excuse me. So what's me? Nurse Edna got to say for herself? I'm rather... Shay. 
Aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? What a weird way to write Bernoulli. Why are the L's nested like that? Huh, <laughs> Threepwood. No, my name is Threepwood. Nice try, but I never forget a face. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? Hmm. Um, I better be going. Oh, so it's a secret, eh? Okay, well, come back here later. Cute, so Notably, though, this statue is standing there with the sword in his left hand. I don't know if that's the... Okay, we'll, we'll remember that, right? The statue's got the sword in his left hand. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Jasper123 hey, in you? the chat. Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. How are you doing? How are you doing? I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, no, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Okay. Uh, so, Jasper, yeah, this looks obscure. What is this? Well, this is Day of the Tentacle. Apparently, now I've never played it as a blind playthrough. Um, it's one of my wife's favourite games, for sure. Um... And, yeah, apparently it was quite popular in the 90s. I never played it when I was younger, but it's by the same development team that did um, The Curse of Monkey Island. So it's quite funny. It's quite um, cleverly written. The main premise is that we are... There's three of us and we're stuck in three different time zones. The past, present and future. And you're in the same building in each of these three time zones and you are uh, you're trying to pass items back and forth to each other to help solve each other's puzzles which is um, kind of interesting it's it's I like the premise uh, it's very dialogue heavy is what I will say so far <laughs> um, so yeah what, what are you up, up to? to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now <laughs> I collect stamps. Yeah, my favourite kind of anomaly. The temporal kind. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Now, we're not worrying Thanks too much about the you. conversations at this stage. We're mostly still... Right, so he's got a stamp album. We're mostly still exploring the environment. There are a lot of rooms in this building. And getting an understanding of... What is where. Okay, so we've got... Not much in here, actually. We can open the window. I can see the roof and some Christmas lights. Okay. It's already open. Oh. We can just walk out then. Okay. We've got a mm, crank. A handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque. Well, let's take it. Hmm, a handle attached to a rotating Fine. shaft really which transmits that. and modifies rotary motion and torque. Ooh, what keen Christmas lights. Can we take the Christmas lights I don't as think well? I can pick that up. No, okay, fine. Can we? Wow, a pulley. Take the by pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can we take it? I don't think I can pick that up. No. Welcome Novelty Goods Convention. There's no flag on it now because it's evening. Okay, well we have a handle. We have the handle, we've got a funnel. Let's make our way now down to the 
basement. And we'll get through there. Your favorite Star Trek episodes were messing with time. Do you know what? There was a comment on one of the YouTube videos, can't remember who it was, pointing me towards a Star Trek, a 1990s Star Trek adventure game. Apparently it's called Star Trek The Final Unity, and I've never slapped something onto my Christmas wish list faster. Because, oh, it's not on Steam. Apparently it's like, um, <laughs> it's like proper abandonware. Because obviously Star Trek is owned by Paramount now, I think. And, uh, uh, yeah, so like the license for the game is going to have like, going to have changed hands like a half dozen times between then and now as the development studio would have been bought out and bought out and bought out. So the only way you can get it is, uh, You've never heard of it. Yes, it is TNG. Yes, it is TNG. Um, Screen Rant rated it second best Star Trek game of all time, which admittedly isn't a high bar because Star Trek video games are kind of notoriously mid. But, um, but yeah, I was excited enough to try a 1990s Star Trek point and click adventure game. You can only get it second hand on CD-ROM though, so... Um, yeah, hoping to uh, <laughs> see if we can see if we can pick up a uh, pick up a copy. I think we're still going to have trouble reaching that. I can't that. reach it up there. So that's fine. What we need is a stick to knock it down. Let's go back down to the secret laboratory because our friend dropped something in here. Yes. So we've got the letter, and the letter we can give to the guy. But I also think we're going to go and put I'd the... I'd rather not. No. Give the Swiss bank... No, okay. Okay, so let's take the flyer out of the toilet. Fine. Swap back. I'd rather not. So the Swiss bank book can't be sent to the past. Do you know what though? The type uh, the tipex, the correcting it, that is almost certainly going to be being used in the past because they're in the middle of drafting the US Constitution, aren't they? So we're almost certainly... Oh, do you know what? Right? Earlier on, they made a reference that, hey, should we have an amendment to the Constitution that says that the president must be a human? And someone said, nah. That's almost certainly what we're going to be correcting. Imagine a clever Star Trek game, not action but diplomacy and puzzles like Bethesda meets Out of Wilds. Yeah, totally agree. I, I totally agree, and apparently this is a little bit like that, but um, but yeah, that's that's been one thing. Like a lot of people say, one of the best one. Do you remember there was like a Voyager game, which was like a first-person shooter, and that's that's apparently supposed to also be like one of the better Star Trek games. But it's literally a first-person shooter. And the main conceit of it is that like Tuvok is secretly training a group of like Star Trek equivalent of Delta Force people. Section 31 as well, right? Section 31, I... I, I can't remember when Section 31 got introduced into Star Trek. I think it was Deep Space Nine, but they weren't really heavily involved that much. Section 31 is an aspect of Star Trek that's way overplayed nowadays because it sort of fundamentally makes the uh, makes the Federation not very nice. Anyway, getting sidetracked a little bit. So, okay. Are you holding anything that could get something off the top of the thing? I don't think you are. The bucket can't go in the time machine. Bucket can't go in the time machine. Hmm. 
Oh, no, 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 Jasper, it's not your bad at all. No, 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 it's my bad. I get myself distracted. Especially when it comes to talking about Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek and Star Wars, and to a lesser extent, Stargate. The... <laughs> Which, despite the fact that I own the whole thing on DVD, is only the third most culturally influential TV show that begins with the word star, somehow. Um, okay, let's take the letter up to the guy who's feeling sad about things. Oh, we got more newspapers. Fru Fru Emerald stolen. Circular prints left behind. Yeah. If I recall that um, Voyager game correctly, I think it was like. Poor initially. Me. Poor, poor me. They wanted to get the Borg in there, didn't they? But. It couldn't really fit into the story, so it was like a holodeck level or something. Can I reach that? I can reach that. Pick up 15 things that don't belong to you is the uh, achievement we've just unlocked. Okay, can I give this to you? Hey, there's a letter here for you. Nice. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come yes. to Baltimore at once. Great. So we can close the door. Things are growing in it. Huh. Neat. Well, let's uh, pick up the flag gun. Because we'll probably be able to swap the flag gun for the lighter gun. Yeah? That's right, an incredible 4,000 carat diamond with a piddling yeah, okay, sum of this. $2 million. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Wanda will be standing by to take your call. Is there notes on the back of the door? No, there's not. Oh, there's a mouse hole, though. What's in the mouse hole? It's pretty small. Yeah, alright, but like... Die. Right, open up. In this room was... Ooh, do you know what? I can't remember now. Yeah, no, okay, that's just green. Hang on, if we turn on the music again, will the fake bomb wow. actually fall this off? Is wow. Okay, it's not really us very much. <laughs> uh oh. This looks like it might work. So I don't have any coins, so we can't use the vending machine. The ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. Can I? It's pretty darn cold. I don't think I can pick that up. Hmm. Okay. We don't have a bucket, though. There's gum with a dime stuck in it. Can we use the fork to get the gum with the dime off? It's stuck to the floor. Hmm. Surely the clock is involved. So the clock is the entrance to the secret, uh, the secret lab. Um, I think I want to swap out 
the... I, I want to try and swap out the two guns. So there's a gun here which is a lighter, and I now have a gun which is a flag gun. So can I try and give the flag gun to you? No, no, it's probably some kind of practical joke. Hmm. Okay, let's Hi talk there. to you. What can I do for you, kid? I want to swap guns. Nice cigars. I roll them myself. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Uh huh. Would I do a thing like that? Because we also that? have seen George Washington. <laughs> So we need to somehow. I told you it was a bad habit. Put our gun here. Use flag gun with table covered in junk. Wow, that guy just won the lottery. Huh? Ha! I don't see anything. Very good. Oh, right. Never mind. So now. If we talk to him, he can't Hi, light our cigar. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically okay. exploding with tobacco goodness. So you this means we'll be able to cigar? give one of the trick cigars to George Washington. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? <laughs> cool, right, yeah. Get lost, kid. Oh. Okay, right. So we've got cigars. Almost as dangerous as the real thing. Almost as dangerous as the real thing, yeah. I wonder how we're supposed to get... I don't know. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Uzo the Clown. So let's try and pass... the. So I don't think we need the gun any further. But let's try and pass the gun and the cigar back to the past. So, you go and take this out. And then back this way, can I put the gun in there? I can. Uh, no, pick up. Okay. Now the weird thing is... I don't wanna. Yeah, you can't put the bucket in there. I don't think the game will allow you to move anything out of an area that you need in that area. So that's fine. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! I mean... Can we send the textbook back to the past? Because that might be a useful thing to have. Right. Let's start from this point, then. And, uh... Do we want to talk to Franklin a little bit? Hmm... No, let's see if we can mess up the Constitution a little bit. Let's see if we can steal the Declaration of Independence. Okay. So I think 
We want to use the wine bottle with the time capsule. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need hey, for the time cool. capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Okay, so is it the present day that we find that or is it the future that we find that? Uh, in the meantime, let's also go and give the cigar to George Excuse Washington. me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Yes. Sure. Well, in that case... His voice sounds familiar. Oh, we get his false teeth. No. Yes, Life, we're going to get his false I teeth. I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's mm -hmm. a good lad. Uh, I have no idea where they went, to be honest. Okay. Let's have a look at the Constitution in progress. They don't seem to have gotten too far. <gasps> Gold-plated Stolen cool from the desk of George Washington. Can I take that? Presumably hey, not. keep your hands off that. All right, fine. Oh, I meant to put invisible. I meant to put disappearing ink in there. Use disappearing ink with the toilet. Because that's that's gonna need to go into the constitution as well. I genuinely don't know where those teeth went, to be honest. Ah uh, yes. Or, or, have you ever seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off? No, uh, the, the, the principal. No, do you know what, actually, I think that's the same actor. <laughs> that might be the same actor. The one who's all like, Bueller. It may, maybe it is him. Okay. So... I'm not sure. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, Amendment to the Constitution. Are we supposed to try and put something into the suggestion box then? Uh, not sure. Okay, so we've we've been through these rooms and I, I think we've emptied everything out of there. Now what side the two artists No have been in here. Although we never really found anything in here, so I'm sure there must be something important in here that we've, uh... Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Yeah, I don't think we found anything in that room. You need the false teeth. And that is the, the way around that this guy was, for sure. On 
I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. <laughs> no, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. Oof. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Okay, what I'm if he's the delivery, delivery man. man? Okay, if I unload in here. Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't <laughs> medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Sorry, mm. hope I haven't jostled you. Too okay. late. So that's Ned. This over here is Jed. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Can I just try and, like, give? I don't wanna. No. I think we already did this, didn't we? Oh, okay. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such Okay, so we've just given Ned Must the left-handed hammer. Must so transitory? Must art be so cruel? So I'm now, a failure. the statue that, Ned. in the present Father day isn't right. going to be there. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. Oh, right, okay, no, so the statue is gonna be there. I'm glad we switched places. Right, so I the think you're coming out quite well. Oh man, this is confusing. So the statue is going to be there, but now the sword's going to be in the other hand. But like, what does that do? Hmm. Oh, more news. Tentacle rescues, returns emerald. Maya congratulates purple hero. So I think it was uh, beyond these rooms. Uh, was it this room here? Yes. Creepy. Must be an Edison. Excuse me. Hi there, my little wishy washy, fishy wishy. <laughs> yes, I was just admiring, I was just admiring your, statue. your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Mm. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch Ooh, sounds it. Sounds expensive. Well, enough about your equipment. Let's talk about yours. Grim. 
How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. Okay, so let's ask about How did family, wreck the family finances. Because we need two million dollars. Well, we should have made diamond. millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. Ah. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily, nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find him in the office, okay. opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. Right, putting an idea together here, right? We saw coffee in the kitchen, and there's two two different kinds of coffee. There's decaf coffee and there's regular coffee. Dr. Fred has got a mug, which he's slowly drinking down in the basement. I think we switch him for decaf, and he starts sleepwalking. How did he well, how did he manage to stop, to stop sleepwalking? sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Right, Fred drinks okay. a lot of coffee. So we switch Me, to decaf. I only drink decaf. Yeah. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> okay, so that's certainly an avenue to try. Uh-huh. So let's make our way down to the kitchen. Ultimately, we need to, to be able to unlock our third character, we're going to need to get rid of that tree somehow. Um, because she's stuck in the tree still, and we can't swap to her until she's not in the tree anymore. But can we pick up the decaf coffee? And then let's go and try and top up, um, top up our friend. Hold still, will you? Nah, still can't still can't get the teeth. So mm, thanks. I needed a little pick me up. <laughs> open safe. Must sign contract. <laughs> Must provide for family. Well, that was pretty fast acting. Okay, what do we got? There's a contract in it. took my hand off with the door. That must be Dr. Fred's contract. What sonambulistic disquiet he suffers. I've heard it's not too good to disturb a sleepwalker. There's a contract in it. That must be Dr. Fred's contract. So, wait, how are we... How do we see him do the combination? Edna said that he does the combination too fast. He almost took my hand mm. off with the door. Can I push him out of the I way? I heard it's not too good no, to disturb okay, a sleepwalker. Oh, the VCR. It's 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 recording, isn't it? So we go onto the VCR and we do it like super slow motion. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. 
you know what? I give the game a lot of credit for the puzzles themselves, actually, because none of this is using too dodgy or wonky logic, you know? It's Dr. Fred's office. I can see the safe. Okay. I can almost make out the combination. Yes. It's... Get away from there! Darn. So... I can see the safe. How I do we get almost Edna make out the combination. to be it's a bit more chill about there. this? Darn. Excuse me. Hi there, Stud. <laughs> Let's talk about your electronic gear again. Hmm. Anytime, hot stuff. <laughs> it's got to be something to do with the statue, right? Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear Maybe. you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't Sounds like you have to quarter a bit. I'll let you get back mm. to what you are doing. It is a 90s game. <laughs> <Any time you've laughs> <been home. laughs> oh man, that's true. So that's a good point, actually. Do we... I don't know. We could give her, give her a brush. No, thank you, dear. No. It was different times. It certainly was. Creepy. Will Riker. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh, man. I don't really have anything to, to woo her with. It looks like a with. physics professor I knew in the second grade. Hmm. Okay, let's sort of hold that thought for now. I need the teeth for you. George Washington spit the teeth out and they just went like, where, you know? What a pretty pussycat. I don't wanna. Can we, squeaky mouse toy? Yo, I... Okay. So we kind of need something for the cat to play with to distract It goes down it. to the landing. Yeah, we kind of need something to distract the cat. Did the old lady have teeth? I think she did. I think she did. The horse has really rough teeth. And this glass of water is for dentures. So I think George Washington's teeth supposed to come back to the horse. Betty Ross is in there with thread on top of her typewriter. That's... Uh, that's his. We've got soap on there, but we can't get the soap whilst the maid is here. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. I don't know. Nah, Get away from there. that! It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now scram! Did your store make founding fathers like they used to? Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about the maid. So that's fine. Let's have a look and see if we can talk to. Um. Well, do you know what? Let's let's go back to the uh, the scientist, uh, the 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 scientist in the past. Souffle says my brain hurts. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a. There's a lot of open threads going at the same time for hey. sure. What is it this time? What was it you needed for that battery again? Oil, vinegar, and gold. I okay. still need the vinegar and gold. 
So the gold's on the quill. You have on cross, any. The vinegar is in the time capsule. In the future. So that's fine. He won't let me have the he won't let me have the lab coat. Uh does he want the textbook? What am I supposed to do with that? No. Does he want the What am I supposed no, to do with that? This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I mean, the, there's there's a lot of open threads at the same time, but thankfully the puzzles themselves seem pretty reasonable. They are not using too much of the old uh, yeah puzzle game wonky puzzle game logic. Now, having said that. The original, original Monkey Island, I also thought was pretty reasonable last time I played it. I've never beaten it. I've played about half of it. It was like the fourth game that really went quite extreme with it. But weirdly enough, it was the fourth game was the one that I actually played when I was young. Um, do you want a book? Please, I'm concentrating. No. I'm not sure I have anything. For Excuse Frank, me, Mr. Mr. Electricity? That would be me. I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Do you know guy? what? He's not going to get very Ooh, much light. The hundred dollar guy, uh, not bad. He's not going to get very much lightning What's when it's so sunny bad about outside, Red? is he? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane, and he steals other people's inventions too before they can even apply for the patent. Not that I'm bitter. Well, see ya. Carry on. Okay, not much for you then. Uh, did I leave anything in here this time? No, nothing in there. Those are both locked, and I don't think there's anything over there. The carriage is quite dirty. In the present it's day... It's totally covered with crud. In the present day, he said... Washing... Some people believe that washing your car can cause it to rain. And we've got a bucket. Mm. One drop of thick... Thick water. <laughs> okay, so is washing this going to make it rain in the past? I can't do anything without something to scrub with. Okay, we've got a... Uh, no, he's got a brush. Fine, send the brush back. Just about getting there. Yep, yeah, brush can go back in time. So back to you. I mean, you don't necessarily need to scrub it. Just like, just, just throw the water over it. Okay, we've got the brush. So, is this going to be our first how do you combine items together puzzle? So if I go 
use. I won't be able to get it very clean without soap. No, I gotta get the soap off the maid. How do I get the soap off the maid? She said, good thing I cleaned the room really quickly. Maybe we need to make the room messy. Meanwhile, Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water <laughs> supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're Very right. good point. Man, do you know what? That That is biting social satire, that is, because it's like, yeah, would you put into the Constitution a rule that was self-evidently something that no reasonable person would do? Um, okay. Nah, I like it the way it is. Okay, not the paint then. Mmm, spaghetti? I don't wanna. Not spaghetti. Disappearing ink? Not funny enough. Not funny enough? Uh... I'd rather not. Do you have anything which would make a mess? Coffee, I suppose. But like... I don't know. That won't fit in there. Okay, the coffee won't fit. Should I just send it all back to the past? Oh, you can only flush one thing at a time. We've got a can opener. Let's have a listen to what the maid says specifically, right? We call the maid in. I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Fine. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Uh huh. And she's gonna she's gonna dust the place. We leave the room. Doesn't matter if we uh, have the door open or not. Try and grab the soap. Oh, ha! Get away from that. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Good thing she finished quickly. Now so, scram. I think we have to make a mess make in there. founding fathers like they used to. We've got a can opener. Is there anything in the pantry? I don't think they had canned food back in these days, to be fair. I can't open it. Uh, we've already opened... Bitches. We've already opened that. Uh, maybe... You are gonna need to, well... Pick, pick up what we've... Pick up the fork. Pick up the fork. Hamster generator. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Okay, possibly not a problem. We're going to go to the kitchen. I also want to check the outside to see what the situation is with... Um, trees. So we reckon we can get the bird bath there. Where's the tree that Laverne has got herself stuck in? Because that's not terribly clear either, is it? We've got to stop the tree from growing, because then Laverne comes into play. But I'm wondering if that's sneakily, like, we're not supposed to be at that point yet anyway. What happens if I pick this up? It's permanently attached to the countertop. Hmm, fine. So, okay, he's still working his magic in there. 
to find the code. Oh, there's a grating. Okay, hmm. what's in there? Air conditioning, I guess. Right. Air conditioning. Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Hold still, will you? Right, so it's not about moving you into there. Um, so we've got a microwave. We've got the other version it of the It wouldn't coffee. be a cyan game without a little train. Tiny train! It wouldn't be a cyan game without a tiny train. This, however, is not a cyan game. But... There we go. You get to hear a clip of me singing. My, what a big coffee maker. Ah. Uh... Oh, can we open the dryer? Aha, what's in there? It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. We need to put something wet in there. We're not holding anything wet. Tiny Train's in the chat. Thank you for the uh, soundboard redemption, Alfie12E. <laughs> it looks pretty broken. I can't believe there's no soap in here. It's literally a laundry room. Hmm, a handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies hmm. rotary motion and torque. Okay. Disgusting. I mean, there's certainly other things we've not looked at yet. There's a sleeping guy who's sleeping on a, um, sleeping on a jumper. We don't really know what the importance of that part of it is. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Oh, handy. It's a dime. So what do we want to do with the coin? Well, there's a coin-operated dryer. But we don't need anything dried. Okay. Well, useful to know at some point anyway. Ahem. Late night? I'm trying to save the world from a right, nasty tentacle. Right, we can't tentacle. actually uh, wake him up. Well, thanks. You've been really helpful. Um, wake up. I can't move him an inch. Oh, hang on. Fickle fingers coin slot. <coughs> Oh. I'd rather not. So, wait, did we just lose the dime? Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Okay. Ahem. Late night? 
well, never mind. So, I did lose my dime, then, I guess. It won't budge. Unless it's like it a... It won't budge. Push, pull, pick up. I don't think I can pick that up. It doesn't seem to open. Huh. Well, uh, that, uh. I can almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. Maybe we need to find a second dime. Like, he did move a little bit. Oh, I didn't actually mean to um, close that, never mind. Hmm. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. It won't budge. Hmm. Tricky. So the mouse hole probably not going to do anything right now. If we get some cheese, we can go to the mouse hole. That's fine. Hoagie would really love these. Hoagie. Oh, yes, 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 that's his friend. Hmm. Not sure on Green Tentacle there. What was through this door? Yeah. Oh! It's a computer. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. So can we use the computer? Maniac Mansion. Jeepers! Games History Major. Play Maniac Mansion. Copyright 1987 from Lucasfilm. Please select two kids besides Dave. What? Is this literally just a mini game? Or, well, I mean, it says copyright 1987, so do they literally just package an older game inside their game. A Lucasfilm Games production. Okay. How weird. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. You're pretty sure that's the prequel to Day of the Tentacle. Okay. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. That's quite show. a nice collection. Can I have it? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Ah, the event I think they're the only friend the I've got. Mansion. I see. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. Oh, do you reckon I we could put him in the really um, hamster, hamster conveyor hamster, belt? But something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this mm. horrible sound. Hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad put 
seem to work down in the basement sometimes. Oh, but this is that a sun. Sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Mm. Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh, God. Oh, no! I hear it in my dreams till this day. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. So, maybe we do have to go back to that microwave then. Can we close the trap door? See what happens there. It's closed. No, nothing, nothing behind the door. Right. So, Day of the Tentacles is actually a sequel. That's really interesting because I've heard of Day of the Tentacle. I've never heard of. I've never heard of it being a sequel to another game, though. Hmm. I'd rather not. Makes sense, mate. Makes sense. The flagpole. am I going to do with a flagpole? Ah, oh, you're gonna you're gonna knock the fake bath off the uh, off the roof. I'd rather not. Oh dear, maniac mansion. So, one of the earliest, one of the oldest games I remember playing was. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which I hadn't realised is even older than Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Because everyone says Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis is like, along with Monkey Island, like peak adventure game experience. And we'll give that a go at some point. Um, but yeah, when I was really young, we had Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and... Yeah, that's like around about 1987, something like that. I don't think I can pick that up. Oh, can we open the closed window? I can't, it's stuck. Uh huh. Not sure what our next step is on this one. So, to summarize where we are, we've got a horse that needs dentures. George Washington has spit his dentures out and no, I no idea where they've landed still. We have a can opener, but we can't find any canned food. We think we need to, um, it's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. Hmm. Oh, and there's a fireplace. Bitcha. George Washington has spit his teeth out. It's really unclear where those have gone. Uh, excuse me. 
Yeah. Excuse me, where did your teeth go? What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. Huh. Those outhouses? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Oh. Striking, aren't I? Gee, I gotta go now. The log could be put in the fireplace. Sorry, I'm saving it. It's going to be a famous log. Okay, let's talk to Jefferson. We're not actually speaking Hey, to tall, Jefferson dark, yet. and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student but of, of the of course. Sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. Right. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Has anyone <laughs> ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Color theory. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing the Constitution for the United States. Right now, it's just a constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Okay. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, <laughs> and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. As if you didn't know. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years oh, hence. 400 years hence. So yeah, so it's actually going to be in the future, not the present day. So, how's the time capsule going? Very well. Now that you've provided that mm -hmm. fine recent vintage wine, I plan to bury it this evening. So that's fine. The capsule's Dude, done. I loved your work on the Declaration We need of that log off him, though. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? Uh, <laughs> the fact that S's look like F's. I like those S's that look like F's. I see. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? Hmm. Yo. Hello. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any b b brilliant ideas. <laughs> you can guarantee the right to free speech. Hmm, free speech? No, that'll never work. Terrible idea. <clears throat> okay. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. You mean it's like oh. a symbol of growth or something? Mm, wait. I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George, I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was called, we'd get some heat in here. Hmm. Well, I gotta go, dude. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Not getting it. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, okay. amendments to the Constitution. What's up? 
great hat, man. Know where I could get one? <laughs> Doesn't really have much to say. Later, dude. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to have to have a little bit of a think about that one. But, um... Good thing we are pretty much at the end of this episode, though. We're about out of time for tonight's stream. So, to summarize where we are, we need soap. As far as the car goes, or the carriage, the carriage is dirty. We have a bucket of water and a brush, but we need soap. To get the soap, we need to make a mess of George Washington's room. Slightly unclear how to do that, but we have a can opener. The can opener might open something that we can use to make a mess. So that's that. We've got ourselves some Tipex. We've got ourselves some invisible ink. So we're going to mess around with the constitution almost certainly. The gold we're probably going to get from the quill. The vinegar we're definitely going to get from the time capsule. But the time capsule is going to be 400 years in the future which means we need to get Laverne into play. And to do that, we need to make sure the tree that she's stuck in never grows. Meanwhile, to get the diamond, we need $2 million, for which we need the combination of the safe. The safe combination, we're gonna read from the VCR, but only once we're allowed to tinker around with the audio-visual room. And then finally, we also have some dentures that George Washington spat out and disappeared. We're probably going to swap those with the trick dentures somehow from the party shop. And we have some bath that's on the ceiling and we have a dime stuck in some gum on the floor. Don't know how to get the gum off, but if we get that dime out of it, we can presumably move the sleeping guy to get the sweater that we can then give to... Hancock so that he's not going to be so cold. I think that kind of covers all of our currently open threads. So we will go with that into episode two. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Thank you very much everyone for coming along. Um, if you are watching on YouTube in the future, hello and pretty much Merry Christmas, right? Because this episode's going to be out on Friday, mere days before um, Christmas Day. So hope you all have a great Christmas. Um, if you're watching on YouTube in the future, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know um, if you are enjoying Day of the Tentacle. Let me know if there are other Lucas arts games or other point and click adventure games that you would like to see on the channel we mentioned monkey island of course we've mentioned indiana jones would you like to see the game that predated day of the tentacle could even give that a go potentially um so yeah i will see you very soon youtube thank you very much for watching have a great week have a great christmas bye bye um for those of us on twitch Thank you.